Hello everyone. I hope you're enjoying the start of holiday preparations. Today we're going to use Jane Davenport's watercolours and uh, mermaid markers um, from her second release to do some backgrounds for some Christmas cards. I hope you'll enjoy. Welcome back to my channel everyone. I'm so thankful for you for popping past to have a look at what's going on today. And if you're new, a big hello. Um, I hope you enjoy what you find on this channel. Today I'm going to be using um, Jane Davenport's watercolour um, palette and some of her mermaid markers to make some colourful backgrounds for some Christmas cards that I wanted to do. I'm going to do it in three different ways. I'm going to sort of experiment a little bit. So I'm starting by using some water on a piece of 3x3 three three watercolour cardstock. This is 300 GSM and I'm just uh, using her Glitzy C palette. Um, this palette has lots of different greens and blues so I thought I would take the opportunity to, to see what these different greens are like. I've put a little bit of water on but not soaked the paper so much um, so that some bits catch on dry paper and some bits will spread in the water that's already there. Now she has a variety of greens. Some of them are a cooler green and some are more warm. Um, and I'm trying to give a mixture of both. I want to give a nice balance of darks and lights but I'm really wanting this background to be really vibrant. My plan for this piece is to do some gold embossing on the top. So here you can see I'm starting to add some like cooler green, a darker green in between the bits that I put on and I'm just letting it sort of do its own thing. I don't want to mess with it too much, I want to see what it can actually do itself just by spreading. I'm not fussed if there's white bits left, that's fine by me as well. It's uh, fairly late in the season to be doing Christmas cards, I just haven't really got into the spirit of it yet, so I thought I really ne do need to, to get on and do something. So my paper is just starting to bow a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I think I'm going to use my heat gun to try and get it dry as quickly as possible so I don't end up with dark edges and nothing in the middle. I think that's the quickest way to do it. If you can get it dry before it runs down um, the curve, uh, that will, will stop that happening. So I'm just going to run my heat tool over that to dry and set that colour and then I'll be ready to move on. You can see how vibrant the colours come out when they're finished and that's going to be a great background for embossing. For my second card, I'm going to start the same way, putting a little bit of water, a bit of hit and miss across the page, but I'm going to use Jane's mermaid markers this time. I can't guarantee that all of them are from the second release. I've just put all of my markers in a big bucket, so um, I've just chosen some colours that I like. I'm starting with Byron Bay because it's a nice light colour and I really just want to build the colour up gradually because I have a different plan for the base of this card so I don't want it quite so bright as the first one. I'm going to spread the colour out a little bit more so I get some more uh, lighter effects. The second colour I used was Byron Bay and then I'm now going in with some kelp and the last one I use is seaweed to lighten it up again and just spread it out. So this makes a nice, again, a greeny blue turquoisey type background but something that I hope will um, allow my focal point to stand out from. Again, I hit this with my drying tool just to set those colours as quickly as possible. So you can, uh, mermaid markers tend to dry 
a lot lighter or any watercolour medium for that matter and you can see the one on the right is the mermaid markers the one on the left was her from her watercolour palette so for the third one I wanted to experiment using some different um, ways of making green I thought I would use her mermaid markers again but using the um, the yellows and blues to create a green rather than use the um, greens themselves so I used some of the colors um, sand bank sandbar lagoon uh, blue bottle and pirates gold and I just sprinkled those around rather than use the brush too much I was trying to use a technique of just flicking that wasn't particularly successful but eventually we got some colors mingling and then I used the brush to create the green because I, I really needed to push the colors together to, for it to be green I think if I just left it it would have stayed very yellow and very blue which was not quite what I was looking for but you can see I just start pushing the colors into each other and that created the sort of the, the light green that I was looking for when I had finished drying this one I actually then went back and flicked some splashes over all of the three bases in the colors that I had used so that there is a base color and then a, a speckledy look with all of it as well and I was really happy with that once that was done so when you compare the three you can see we go from a really light one to really dark and vibrant um, you can get dark and vibrant with the mermaid markers but that was not what I was trying to achieve with this so now I'm going to use this set um, called the the little mouse set called Mary Mo and Joe from the unity stamp company the top right corner you might see this little mouse that's already colored when I was on holiday I stamped a whole lot of Christmassy images and I used took her three palettes so that um, of a night I could sit and color them in now I cut them out but the arms and legs you'll see are really really thin so the way I get around this is actually to stamp it on the base and then to paste the bits that I had colored the, the larger bits on top of that base stamp and then it all looks like it's one stamp I also use this stamp called Ellie from Avery L to use the little star balloon that the, my little mouse is holding and eventually you'll see me color that with Jane's metallic gold mermaid marker and I did go over that also with um, a clear wink of Stella to give it just a little bit of shimmer and shine I'm using Liquitex Max matte medium here to paste my bits on so that they will um, stick and if there's any oozing out the side it'll be matte and clear and so you won't see it unfortunately my bottle was getting a bit gummed up so I had to uh, take the precision tip off and I obviously need to give that a really good clean I must have left it open at some point so slowly but surely I just paste the little bits on and he becomes a very cute little mouse now the one other stamp set that I used um, was called Very Merry Christmas again from the Unity Stamp Company and no I apologize it's not that one it is Unity Bells On Bells On by the Unity Stamp Company and I used their Merry Christmas sentiment for this little mouse card a very simple small one that I could put on the left hand side um, in hindsight I probably should have done it on uh, a separate piece of white or a piece of black and done it with embossing powder and I may still go back and redo that because I wasn't particularly happy with the way it stood out on the card at the end but for this video that's as good as it's going to get um, and I'll think about that before I send it out I might just make that adjustment I back my 
uh, piece onto some red to try and make the red of the mouse's hat and shoes etc really pop and then I'm going to paste it onto a craft cardstock basil craft cardstock 5x5 five five card base that I make myself so I will put some music on and you can watch the end of that So for my next card, I'm going to stamp with a Christmas tree um, from a stamp collection. I can't actually remember the name of it. Um, I've been reorganising all my stamps and putting in them in the Avery or bags. And to make some fit, I've had to take out some of the packaging. So I've actually forgotten which one this is. It has some other stamps, um, a beautiful reindeer and season greetings and some snowflakes. So if anybody recognises it, I would love it if you could give me the name of it. Um, so I'm using some Tim Holtz Distress Embossing Ink and some Stamp Art Dark Gold Fine Embossing Powder to emboss that Christmas tree. And then I'm going to mount that one on some dark green card and then onto a craft base. So I'll let you watch that. Okay, and for the final card, I'm using the background that we made with the blue and yellow mermaid markers. I'm mounting it on an, a light olive green card and placing on a mini doily from Tilda um, and adding, I added a little chipboard piece that I found at the dollar store. The Moose is another Unity Stamp Company stamp called Very Merry Chris Moose. Um, which I thought was just adorable, which I just painted with um, some of Jane's watercolours and used her gold mermaid marker for the antlers as well. Just trimming off 
a bit of the doily and pasting that onto a craft card as well. So those are my three cards for today. I hope you enjoyed them. Um, I do hope you would subscribe and leave a like or a comment. I appreciate all the feedback. It was really lovely to hear from people saying they wanted me to continue. Um, and so let me know what you like. This voiceover is different for me. So I don't know whether I prefer this or prefer actually talking as I work. Uh, give me some feedback because I'd like to know what you would prefer to see. Um, so until next time, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.